December 16th will, of course, be the unification bout between the WBO champion Jesse Bam Rodriguez and, of course, the IBF flyweight world champion Sonny Edwards. And, of course, these two people are, of course, this is a very anticipated fight for the sole fact that these two are some of the highest level fighters in the world right now. Although not recognized pound for pound, a win in this fight will definitely put them up there. But, of course, let's talk about the uh, B-side, or at least the second name in the verses. Sonny Edwards, as he holds the record for having the, the lowest knockout percentage of all champions. And of course, his record is 20-0 with 4 knockouts. That puts Devin Haney's 30-15 and 15 to shame, but, you know, whatever. With a knockout percentage of 20%, that's worse than an F. That's an F-. minus minus. But of course... He has shown that he doesn't need power to win fights. Of course, the last time he got a knockout was April of 2019. And it was in the 8th round. Hmm. Whatever. But of course, he's a very nice boxer as he's shown against Andres Campos. But of course, the WBO champion, another undefeated fighter. The WBO flyweight world champion, Jesse Rodriguez. He was 18-0 with 11 knockouts. 61%. That is quite the significant increase in knockout power. But of course, Jesse Ben Rodriguez is not only the WBO champion, but he is also a two division world champion as he, as he claimed the WBC super flyweight world champion by beating Carlos Quadras. But of course, who do I think is going to win this fight? Well, first of all, this is going to be a very interesting fight as it will be in the US. No home, no home field advantage for Sonny Edwards. But of course, I do have to pick Jesse Baron Rodriguez, and no, it's not because he's American, even though that's probably might be one of the reasons. But of course, it is because, first of all, he's a two division world champion, so that's already better than Sonny Edwards that I know of. Unless Sonny Edwards is a two division world champion, I'll have to check that. No, he is not, so that is already one point for Jesse Bam Rodriguez. But not only that, he has beaten two elite fighters at the actually three elite fighters at the top of the super flyweight division. Of course, that was Carlos Quadras. Sarisa Cap Sarumbasai. But of course, he also beat Israel Gonzalez, who is, although not seen as the best, he did go unanimous decision with Chocolatito. But, you know, but of course, the biggest threat to both of these guys is, first of all, Sonny Evers has already faced pressure fire before, especially in his last fight, but he's not fighting anyone near the level of Jesse Rodriguez. But of course, Jesse Rodriguez is also not fighting anyone near the same level as Sonny Edwards. Okay, a little bit, but. Sonny Edwards has a style that Jesse has shown to not really be the most, you know, really perform the best. Of course, especially against Gonzalez and Hernandez, it's movers. It's either someone that could turn with him or someone that just moves well in the ring. Although Hernandez obviously was doing more, a little bit more running than fighting, although he did fight and I think he did break Jesse's jaw, but whatever. Rodriguez is not that good with movers. I mean, he, he definitely wins. He definitely does show it out. But he has to try a lot harder with movers. And guess what? Edwards is a mover. But at the same time, Edwards does not fight anyone near the caliber of Rodriguez. While Rodriguez kind of has. He is beating Quadras and Sarisa Katsurumbasai. Although, they were definitely no longer the elite of the division. There's still some really good fighters in the Super Flyweight World Championship. For the sole fact that, as though you know, most people know, these people are considered... The kings of the division. Of course, how you know that? You look at their losses. Most of the time, it's just against each other. All right, the four the four kings are, of course, Chocolatito, Juan Francisco Estrada, and, of course, Cerisa Casaromasai and Carlos Quadras. And if you look at their losses, of course, most of their losses are against to each other. So, you know, elite fighters only be elite fighters, especially if you look at the other guys. Estrada only lost to Cerisa Casaromasai, Chocolatito, and some other guy. But, you know, he don't count. <laughs> but, yeah. Like I said, these people only lost to the... Only lost to each other. It was like a rock, paper, scissors type deal. But Rodriguez came up and beat both of them. He beat one via unanimous decision. Outclassed them. And he knocked out the other one. So, you know. That says a lot. And, of course, he's moving down in weight. Which means Edwards' power is not going to be a lot. I mean, his skill will definitely keep him off of him for quite some time. But Rodriguez's power and his, uh, his resume, I think, speaks more... Than Edwards, to be honest. Edwards is a good fighter. He's an elite fighter. But I think Rodriguez fought the better opponents at the higher weight class. So, you know, that's that's not good news for Edwards. But without being with that being said, I got Rodriguez eighth round stoppage. I think 
I think he shows up and he beats Sonny Edwards. But then again, the uh, flyweight division is not. But of course, you know, Edwards is definitely going to put on a show. You think, damn, Edwards is out boxing him. And then you realize, oh, well, he has no power. What is he going to do? You know, I think, you know, at a certain point when elite fighters fight each other, power comes first. They're both elite fighters, but I think Rodriguez is a little bit better. And he has a lot more power. So, you know, that's definitely going to make a humongous difference. But like I said, I got Rodriguez eighth round stoppage in a very good fight. And of course, the next video will, of course, be the UFC December 16th, or at least UFC 297. I think that was, that's what it's called. Edwards versus Covington and Pantoja versus Royval. So, you know, anyways, I'll catch you in the next one.